Hi, boys and girls. Greetings. You know, in life there are ups and downs. But whether it's up or down, I know that Jesus is with me. Now, this week, which is a Sunday before Easter, is called the Palm Sunday. We'll listen to two Bible stories from John chapter 11 from verse 1 to 44 and John chapter 12 from verse 9 to 18. The first one is about Lazarus, his death, Jesus comforting his sisters and the rising from the dead. Um, and the second one uh, is when Jesus comes to Jerusalem as a king. Uh, let's listen to the stories. God's story, Lazarus. So part of God's story is about how Jesus brought a man back to life. And it goes like this. Jesus had three really good friends, Mary, Martha, and their brother Lazarus. One day, Lazarus got really sick. He was so sick that he might die. Mary and Martha knew the only one who could heal Lazarus was Jesus. So they sent someone to find him. They found Jesus traveling and telling people about God. Now, you might think that Jesus would rush to heal his friend, but instead of leaving right away, Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. See, Jesus knew something no one else knew. Lazarus had died, but Jesus was going to bring him back to life so that they would believe that Jesus really was the Son of God. When Jesus finally got to Lazarus' house, Lazarus had been dead for four days. Mary and Martha were heartbroken. Martha said, Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha didn't understand at first. What Jesus meant was that he would actually bring Lazarus back to life here on earth. Jesus was saying, because he's the son of God, he's more powerful than death. After that, Martha's sister Mary ran to Jesus and fell at his feet. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her crying, he was so sad. In fact, when Jesus came to the tomb where Lazarus was buried, he cried too. His friend who he loved so much was dead. Kids, have you ever felt sad because of something that happened to you or someone you cared about? Just like us, Jesus felt pain and sadness because of what happened to his friend. Then Jesus told some people to roll away the big, heavy stone in front of the tomb. He looked up and prayed, Father, I know that you always hear me. Then he called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And then Lazarus walked out. This man who had been dead for four days was now standing in front of everyone, walking and talking and alive. The people were amazed. You see, Jesus knew all along that he could bring Lazarus back to life. Jesus wanted people to see who he was, the son of God. He wanted people to see God's greatness, that God could do anything, even bring someone back from the dead. And Jesus was about to do something even more incredible. He himself was about to die for us, be buried in a tomb for three days, and then come back to life. And he did it to rescue us from all of our pain, sadness, and wrong choices. And when we believe in him, we get to be a part of God's family forever. And that's the story of Lazarus. God's Story, Palm Sunday. So part of God's story happened on a day we call Palm Sunday, and it begins like this. Remember how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us? Well, not everybody believed that Jesus was really God's son and the rescuer. But the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool on Palm Sunday. It started just like any other day for Jesus. He was heading into Jerusalem with his disciples. But before they got there, Jesus did something surprising. He stopped and sent two of his disciples to go get a young donkey from a nearby village. He even told them exactly where the owner had last tied it up. They weren't sure why he needed the donkey, but they obeyed him. Kids, would you be willing to obey Jesus even if he asked you to do something you didn't understand? Anyway, when the disciples got back with the donkey, they threw their coats on its back like a saddle and Jesus climbed up. Pretty soon, the disciples saw why Jesus needed it. See, crowds of people came to the road and started laying coats and tree branches to make a path for Jesus. When this happened, many people recognized that Jesus was a king 
Only kings came into a city like this. So Jesus rode the donkey like he was a one-man parade. And the crowds praised Jesus by yelling things like, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, and peace in heaven and glory in the highest, because they believed Jesus was the rescuer. But remember how some people didn't believe Jesus was God's son? Well, they told Jesus to make everybody stop yelling. They didn't think Jesus deserved to be treated like a king. You know what Jesus said? He told them, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. Well, the people who didn't believe in Jesus didn't like thinking about people or rocks praising him. And that made Jesus sad. He actually started crying. And not just crying, weeping. Here, the people were standing next to the rescuer they'd been wanting and waiting for their whole lives. And they were missing it. But even though Jesus cried, Palm Sunday isn't a sad story. Easter is all about Jesus' amazing rescue, and Palm Sunday is a reminder of just how special that rescue is, and how much Jesus loves everyone. And that's the story of Palm Sunday. Two great Bible stories. Um, some of you might remember a few weeks ago we talked about the seven I am by Jesus. Jesus said to you, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. That's in John chapter 11, verse 25. I'm the resurrection and the life. Is the fifth of the seven I am statements of Jesus. Lazarus was dead. Earlier, Jesus had heard that his good friend was sick. But instead of going to visit Lazarus, Jesus stayed for oh, two more days. We find that in John eleven sixteen, He explained to his puzzled disciples that the sickness was for God's glory. That God's son may be glorified through it. Okay, that... Uh, all the pomp, the whatever would go to Jesus. Jesus wanted one more opportunity for people to see God at work through him and believe that God had sent him. After Lazarus died, Jesus began a journey to Bethany, a city that was just, it's a village that was just outside Jerusalem, Lazarus' home. Now, more importantly, when Jesus informed his disciples that Lazarus was dead, he simply said his friend was asleep. I mean, the part I like, boys and girls, imagine being Jesus' friend. Uh, his friend was asleep, but I'm going there to wake him up. Outside Bethany, Lazarus' sister Martha went to meet Jesus. If you had been here, she said, my brother would not have died. Such was her faith in Jesus' power to heal. Jesus replied by assuring Martha that her brother would rise again. Martha responded in faith, I know he will rise again in resurrection at the last day. At this point, Jesus makes his fifth. I am statement in John's gospel. I am the resurrection and the life. And he who follows it will, with a call to faith, he who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. When Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, he was claiming to be the source of both. There is no resurrection apart from Christ, and there is no eternal life apart from Christ. Beyond that, Jesus was also making a statement concerning his divine nature, that he was God. He does more than give life. He is life. And therefore, death, there is no ultimate power over him. Jesus offers spiritual life on those who believe in him 
so that they share his triumph, his power over death. Believers in Jesus Christ, boys and girls, will experience resurrection because having the life of Jesus, it is impossible for death to defeat them or to defeat us. Now, that was the first story. Um, I will explain because what I really want to talk about, boys and girls, is the ups and downs of life. Now, days later, those who had witnessed the miracle of Lazarus being raised from the dead threw palm leaves before him and cheered him as king. So on Palm Sunday, the people also honored Jesus verbally. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna, son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In their praise of Jesus, the Jewish crowds were quoting Psalm 118 verse 25 to 26. Now, boys and girls, we are all not immune to heartaches or death, pain. Um, I want to say to you today, a week before Easter, that there is pain, boys and girls. There is issues, troubles on earth. So there are things, life is like a roller coaster. Jesus is God of love and compassion with ability to take sorrow, pain, even death and change it into joy and new life. So remember, whether you are up or down in pain or joy Jesus is with you the death of Lazarus was a down point in the life of Martha and Mary and all those who had come to comfort them but on Palm Sunday was an up time for the disciples and also those people who had seen Lazarus raised from the dead. So, sometimes, boys and girls, it's easy to believe Jesus is king during the up points. Like on a Palm Sunday, everybody is celebrating Hosanna to the highest. And when difficult times, when painful times, loss like uh, Lazarus is dead. Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Boys and girls, I want to say to you, it's important as we walk through this life to walk by faith and not by sight. To walk by believing that the Lord Jesus remains the King of Kings, a big God who is alive, who cares and loves you. You know, yeah, the lowest point of life, when there is sickness, when there is some kind of pain, where you are lonely and things like that, those times may be difficult to say Jesus is the king of kings, but Jesus does not change. He remains the same. Now I want to conclude um, by reading this poem. Nobody seems to know who wrote it. People are fighting, but it's a good poem. One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Many scenes of my life flashed across the sky. Each scene, I noticed footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints. Other times, 
there was one set of footprints. This bothered me because I noticed the low points of my life, the down points. When I was suffering in anguish, in pain, sorrow or defeat, I could only see one set of footprints. So I say to the Lord, you promise me, Lord, that if I followed you, you will, you would walk with me always. But I have noticed that during the most trying periods of my life, there have only been one set of footprints in the sand. Why? When I needed you most, you have not been there for me. The Lord replied, the times when you have seen only one set of footprints, it is when I carried you. Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you for every boy and girl. Lord, issues of life sometimes roller coaster. There is pain. But Lord Jesus, you are there. Lord Jesus, you may delay by two days, but you know about our issue. You know that Lazarus is not well. And Father, I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ for every boy and girl. That Lord, those times, even when we celebrate the King of Kings and say Hosanna on a Palm Sunday, you are also with us. Lord, help us to remember that during the painful times, the joyous times, you are there all the time. Pray for every boy and girl to know that. Father, as they grow to love you, to have faith in you, to trust you, that, Lord, may they be strong. May they have faith and know that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And whoever believes in him will live even though he dies. In Jesus' name. Amen.